Brand new overcast day here in Memphis. Heading over to Shelby County trustee's office just to have a little follow-up meeting. All right, I'll be departing uh, from here, from Memphis, and going directly to Boca. I'll be flying at about 17 or 19,000 feet. The weather is okay. It's a little bit high fires in the middle. It's a little high fires here, as a matter of fact. So hopefully it's all gonna work out good. Hello. I gotta see if I can call Memphis and pick up my clearance. Memphis, good afternoon, Sierra's November. One, two, two, Sierra, Zulu. Nope. Let's call flight service and pick up the clearance. Thank you for calling Midas Flight Services. Hi, this is uh, November one, two, two, Sierra, Zulu. Looking to pick up my IFR clearance from uh, Dewitt Spain Airport. All right, problem's clear. Seven. Put the heat on because it's cold. Put the heat on. All right. Yeah, the, the field is IFR, so I, I, it's not like I can depart VFR and pick up my clearance in the air. I'd be scud running because it's like 700 feet. There's the clouds, so and there's obstacles around, and there's the building downtown and all that stuff. All right, let's give him a call. Hello, this is a one two two share Zulu number one, ready to go, runway one seven. All right, 360 and 2000. One to two seven. All right, we'll talk in a little bit. Bye bye. To Spain Airport, series November. One to two seven. is taking runway one seven. Departure to the north. Speed is alive. Full power. All temperature is good. Everything's looking good. Looking for seven seven knots. And rotate. Flaps up. Memphis uh, departure. Good afternoon, Sierra November one two two. Sierra Zulu just departed. Uh, do it, Spain. Making a left turn for uh, three six zero heading and climbing uh, from uh, nine hundred to two thousand. Number one two two. Sierra Zulu Memphis approach. Ident uh, altimeter three zero one zero. Climb and maintain three thousand. Here's the ident three zero one zero and three thousand. One two two. Sierra Zulu. Number one two two. Sierra Zulu radar contact one east of the Do it, Spain airport. Turn right heading zero seven zero. 070, one to Sierra Zulu. Number 122 Sierra Zulu, fly heading uh, 140, intercept the Memphis 098 radial outbound. All right, 140, and we'll intercept the uh, Memphis uh, 098 radial outbound. One to the Sierra Zulu. Uh, let's see how we're going to do that. On, uh, so the frequency, frequency for that radial is 117.5. All right, let's ID it. Beep, 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 that's it. And now we're gonna have to put the 098 radials. We capture that uh, radial, back to the basics, right? All right, we are cruising pretty good here. We're at 14,000 feet, and uh, we have a 214 knot ground speed. So, I like it, it's good. We're gonna be getting there in Boca in three hours, 12 minutes. Not too bad, much faster than yesterday. We do have a little bit of weather coming up and it looks like uh, there's going to be some icing as well as we're approaching this area right here. So we'll see how I'm going to negotiate with all this weather here. I, I want to stay clear of the clouds as much as possible. Bunch of layers everywhere. The question is, you know, where do I go, right? So at 17,000 feet, it looks like up there I'll be in the clouds and that could be potential of icing. But it's a convective down... Uh, you know, by the Panhandle of Florida, we've got another two hours to go, and we'll be landing with 22 gallons. The uh, concern of the flight right now is just the uh, little bit of convective going on, and uh, it's just dealing with the ice. So, we'll see how it goes. And uh, center, 2 Sierra Zulu here, request. Center, 2 Sierra Zulu, go ahead, Yeah, for the build-ups up ahead here, uh, I'll need to deviate as needed. I may actually need to send, but I'll, I'll let you know once I determine what altitude would be best. Two Sierra Zulu. Um, two Sierra Zulu, you're clear to deviate up to 20 degrees left or right for now. All right, 20 left or right. Two Sierra Zulu, thanks. Yep, there's the icing. Now we're in the clouds and there's the icing. Let's pump the anti-ice. 
Definitely icy here. Also on the tail. I hate icing. Yeah, standard two zero zero like would like to descend. Uh, please get out of this. Standard two zero zero, uh, Roger. Descend to maintain one three thousand thirteen thousand. All right, one three thirteen thousand. One to the seven. Yeah, let's uh, let's descend. I can't seem to be able to shed it very well. It's definitely accumulating, and I have this on high. So this is this is getting worse. I don't like it. All right, we have a good layer here. It's a little warmer too, it's minus 9 here instead of minus 12, 3 degrees warmer. Yeah. Alright, I think 11,000 is a good altitude. Seven right or, uh, seven tango I have a nice uh, tailwind again, one four thousand to one six thousand. and uh, it All seems right, that, that the one icing one is melting away. So what do we have now? We have that static issue. It's exactly the perfect situation, minus 1 Celsius, running the anti-ice. Then, uh, I stop it to see if the anti-ice actually does something. It may, the anti-ice may, may actually be adding, I don't know, uh, more better bonding to the surface of the airplane and then I've it picks up more uh, static. No idea. Center, Sirius 122 Zulu, 11,000. Number 122 Sierra Zulu, Jack Center, Roger. All right, we're at 11,000 feet. There's Tampa over there, there's Orlando over there, Tampa Lakeland is up ahead. Very choppy here, very choppy. And it looks like it's, uh, we have some pretty good precipitation here. Right now we have a nice tailwind, but I bet you at the front of this precipitation here on the radar, it will turn into a headwind. I think it's snowing. In all honesty, this looks like snow to me. Does it look like snow to you? And of course, what did I say? This just turned into a headwind, just like that. The moment we crossed our boundary, we went from having like 30 knots on our tail to having 3 to 4 knots on our head. So okay, let's see, we'll yeah, my concern hold, is uh, what, how to deal with this the other way. cell over here, just west of Boca. That's uh, the problem. Depends on what it is. What is it? I don't know. But there's the static again. Yeah, unable to hear you, I have a little bit of static right now, Tushazo. Uh, what's the altitude you want me to, Tushazo, Zulu? I'm sorry, I'm unable to hear you. Uh, I'll have to count you in about a minute, Tushazo. Number one, two, 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 Left heading 110 to Cezulu. Whoa. And Palm Beach to Cezulu, Boca inside. Or two Cezulu, quick visual approach, runway 23. Appreciate all your help. Contact the Boca Tower, 118.42. Boca Tower, good evening, Sierra November 122, Sierra Azul on the visual runway 23. Sierra 122, Sierra Azul, Boca Tower, Roger, runway 23, clear to land. All right. Picks are good, all set here. Good, good, good. Full of tank, we're good. It's clear, all set, nobody's coming. Challenger, Challenger departing. Took about four hours and ten minutes. 